call Halayim la Yihau Bashim Yihau Shah Bashim Akakadash. It's a part two to what is a heathen slash Gentile, right? And um, the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, that were given to the twelve tribes, all right, of Israel, all right. It was um that was our like um like how you have like a um how can I put this together? The law session and commandments was um the inside the ensign, if I'm pronouncing that right, all right. Like a um a mark, so to speak, upon the Israelites that separated us from these nations, all right? Having the law, statutes, and commandments, okay, is what is the one of the main factors why the Israelites were um superior to the nations. And the law, statutes, and commandments are only given to the to the Israelites. Alright? Now let's just read Deuteronomy chapter four. Now therefore, from the top, verse one. Now therefore hearken, O Yasharallah, alright? Israel. Yasharala means he prints power, right? And that's the proper way to say Israel. Unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them that ye may live and go in and possess the land which Yahweh, the, the power of your fathers, giveth to you. All right? Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of Yahweh, your power, which I command you. All right? So the law, statutes, and commandments are only for the Israelites, okay? Clear cut, straight to the point. This is verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, and even as Yahweh my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. Verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So, so when the these heathens, all right, who don't have the law, statutes, and commandments, see the Israelites who have them, they they see the superiority of the Israelites. All right, the Israelites become superior. All right, on a spiritual level. Through these law, statutes, and commandments. Now, on a carnal level, you know, you got these Israelites, you know, actors and musicians and athletes and so on and so forth. But that's on a carnal level, all right? The spiritual, the spirit is stronger than um the flesh, all right? And the law, statutes, and commandments is spiritual. Perfect example. You cannot... um. You cannot, um, according to the law, statutes, commandments, you cannot wear two, um, two different fabrics. So you can't wear, um, wool with, um, silk, all right? You can't wear, uh, leather with, um, nylon, all right? That's going off. And why? You may be asking why. Well, the, the vibration of these, of those different fabrics don't match up man that's some spiritual stuff just to even understand that all right so the law statutes commandments are, are spiritual through and through let me just get a quick verse about the spirit being stronger all right than the flesh This is Matthew 26 and 41. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit is, is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. All right? That temptation, let's go on to that word temptation right there, man. Right? Adversity, man. Affliction. Trouble. 
right? Sent by the Most High and serving to test or prove one's character, faith, and holiness, man. So what is this going into, man? That temptation is what? To commit sin, man. To break his law, statutes, and commandments, all right? And the, the, the spirit, all right, is willing, but the flesh, man, the, the reason why we have to get new bodies, man. I believe Hebrews chapter 8 goes into that, man. I think Jeremiah 31 as well, all right? Talks about that, the um second covenant, all right? Where, where the Israelites get the law, statutes, and commandments written into, you know, our, our new bodies, man. We're, and we're not going to be able to to sin anymore, all right? And how the, the, the old the Apocrypha and the New Testament, it talks about the Gentiles coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Those are the Israelites, all right? Because the Israelites, if you are Israelite and you don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? You're, um, you're a heathen, man. And I broke that down in the part one video, all right? Verse, this is Deuteronomy 4 and 7. For what nation is there so great who have the most high so nigh unto them, all right? So these heathens, all right, know that the Yahweh is dealing with us over them. And it's always going to be like that forever, man. Romans 11, Romans 9, all right? Hebrews 8. Hebrews, um, Galatians 4, all right? All throughout the scriptures, all right? Just the main ones that just popped into my head. Who hath the most high so nigh unto them, as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for, man. All right? What nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law, which I said before you this day? Verse 9, only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them by thy sons and thy sons' sons, all right? So don't go off from these scriptures, man. All right, these law, statutes, and commandments. Now we're saved, of course, because of Yahweh Shai, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Shai, through faith and works, man. The law, statutes, and commandments is not going to save you, man. No, we have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, man. But if you think, oh, I followed 99.9% .9 of the law, statutes, and commandments, that means I'm saved. No, man, it's not going to work like that, all right? It works by this, by faith, all right? And the, um, the building blocks on that faith is what works, man. So let's just dive into, all right? Let's get, see, Isaiah chapter 2. Isaiah chapter 2, and from the top, verse 1. The word that the I, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amoz, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days, all right? So the days that's going, that, that's coming up, all right? And that's when... We get them law, statutes, and commandments written in our body, man. And we go back to the land of Israel. That the mountain of Yahweh, of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. So when the Israelites go back into the land of Israel, all nations are going to be in subjection to the Israelites. And many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go to the mountain of Yahweh in the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways, all right? So the Israel, so the Israelites are going to teach, all right, the heathen, all right? And we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law. So the Israelites will teach the law to these heathens, man, all right? Cause, and they're going to keep it. And when they go off, they're going to get judged by the Israelites. And a word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. He shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Verse 5. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of Yahweh. Verse 
Verse 7. Their land is also full of silver and gold, neither is there any end of their treasures. Their land is also full of horses, neither is there any end of their chariots. So them horses not talking about, you know, nay, eating hay, like, nah, man. It's going to be them chariots, man. Straight up um, so-called UFOs, man. We're going to be riding in style. And this is just uh, one of the many precepts that proves that those small hatters, all right, are not the Israelites. Because no nobody's following the law, statute, and commandments under no small hatters, man. All right? All the nations are preparing for World War III, all right? And this is talking about when they're in the land of Israel, man. All right? So let's get, um, like, let's get this right here, man. Isaiah 42, man. Isaiah 42 and 5. Thus said Yahweh thy power, he that created the heavens and stretched from them out, he that spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people, Unto the people upon it, and the spirit of them that walk therein. I, Yahweh, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will give, and I will, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the, for a light of the Gentiles, man. And that's going to these Israelites, all right, that didn't have the law, statutes, and commandments, because that's the only people that have a covenant with Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. Verse seven to open their the blind eyes. Why are their eyes blind, man? Because they're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. They're not connected to Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, right? To bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the pri prison house. I am Yahweh. This is my name. All right, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. All right, so Buddha. All right, Caesar Borgia, so on and so forth, man. Let's go back. Isaiah 49 and 6. Scroll up a little bit. Isaiah 49, chapter 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be salvation to the end of the earth, man. Because why? The Israelites were scattered into all nations, man. And when they were scattered into all nations, all right, that's when they became Gentiles. And then, of course, you had Israelites that still knew they were Israelites, all right, and kept the law, statutes, and commandments. Verse 7. Thus said Yahweh, the Redeemer of Israel, and his Holy One, to him, whom man despiseth to him who the nations ab abhorreth to a servant of rulers, kings shall and arise, princes, kings shall see and arise, Salakia, princes also shall worship because of Yahweh that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. All right? The Israelites. Thus said Yahweh, to an acceptable time, have I heard thee in the day of salvation? Have I helped thee and I will preserve thee and I will give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, the cause to inherit the desolate inheritance. And that's the, the land of Israel, man. All right. And he's lost that commandments in his second covenant that's coming up, man. So let's type in this word right here, man. Leviticus 26 and 33, I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw out a sword after you and your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. All right. 
and it just goes into what we just read previously, man. And these these small hatters, all right, are have polluted the land, and it's gonna become desolate, man, because it's gonna be nuked. The land of Israel will be nuked, man, like Babylon the Great, all right, because it's polluted by these small hatters and their wickedness. Goy, all right. Heathen, Gentile, nation, people. All right. And as you can see here, it says nation, people, nation, people, usually of non-Hebrew people, of descendants of Abraham, the Israelites, a swarm of locusts or other animals. All right. So that's all a heathen means, man. It can mean plenty of other things, man. All right. But you see these 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 Christians, so-called Christianity, man, they come with that that dogma, all right? Saying that that um they pretty much act um throw away the other meanings of heathen and gentile, and then they slap on these 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 actual heathens, man. Like a fucking Edomite, man. You think a fucking Edomite's gonna get, get fucking saved, man? All throughout the scriptures say these Edomites gonna get burnt the fuck up, man, after slavery. Alright? You so called white people. Alright? So it's through, man. Romans nine thirteen, man. Let's let's get Romans nine thirteen, man. Romans nine and thirteen, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Most High hates a, a particular nation of people, all right? The Edomites, for the for the wickedness that is written in their DNA, man. All right? They literally come out the womb wicked, man. And this is not me just 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 making it up, man. It's in the scriptures. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid, man. Because Yahweh, all right. But Hashem Yahweh Shai, because you know Yahweh Shai was Isaac, all right? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Esau, all right? They created these fucking Edomites to be wicked. It's literally in their spirit. Their spirit is literally wicked, man. It's literally impossible, almost impossible for Edomite to be good, man. In theory, the only way a so-called white person can be good is if Yahweh changes that person's spirit, man. And, you know, Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. So these fucking Edomites, as soon as they're born, all right, in pursuing the Malachi chapter 1, um, one Malachi chapter 1, 1 through 5, the Edomites are the wicked, all right? You have someone who's wicked, Right, and that can apply to anybody who's wicked, and then you have the wicked, which is are the Edomites, and then you have the righteous, which someone can just act righteous, and then you have the righteous, which are the Israelites. All right, clear cut, straight to the point, man. Let's go to Second Ezra, all right. Second Ezra chapter two. And seven. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Because like I said in the brothers, alright? The Israelites were scattered into all nations. So you're gonna have Israelites speaking Chinese, looking like a so called Chinese person. But they have the spirit of a so-called black person or so-called Hispanic person. Or, I mean, or Mexican, all right? So-called, all right? Because the Israelites were scattered into all nations on the planet Earth. You're going to have Israelites looking like everybody, man. And then once we get those new bodies, all right, we're going to be looking like Yahweh Shai, man. White woolly hair, dark skin, all right? 
let their names be put out of the earth. So the Israelites are being put to shame. All right. For they have despised my covenant. All right. So they, the Israelites. All right. In our past lives, we was on we was on that that, that dumb dumb shit, man. And all Israel when it went off, man. Verse eight. Woe be unto thee, I sure, thou that hidest the unrighteous in thee, O thou wicked people, remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah, man. And what's gonna happen to Sodom and Gomorrah is gonna happen to Babylon the Great, man. Quote unquote the United States of America. It's gonna be way worse too, man. Verse 27, be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, man, and that main trouble and heaviness is going to be Jacob's trouble, man, the trouble of the Israelites, which is going to affect all nations, because the Israelites are in all nations, all right, and the beast system being, you know, speared by these small hatters and these other dukes of Edom, all right, these elites, all right, are going to come down with great wrath, Revelations 12 and 12, all right. Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shall be merry and have abundance, all right? So the elect are going to be able to make it through it, man. Now, some of the elect are going to have some trouble, all right? Some of the elect going to have it smooth, and some going to have mixed, man. Everybody got a different lot. Verse 28, the heathen, all right? And this goes into the two-thirds, too, man. These two-thirds... Right, these undesirable Israelites on this side, man, and these fucking Edomites, these Moabites, all right, these Persians, these Elamites, all right, shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, said Yahweh. Why they won't be able to do nothing, man? We're gonna have protection from the Elohim, man. We're gonna have spiritual power, and Yahweh just working, working his his, his magic, man, performing miracles, you know. Yahweh can have it to where you, you found a, you know, a town, all right? You could just, it's Jacob's trouble, you you walking, you hiking, find a little town, man. You know, a little town, desolate. They got cattle in there, man. They, they got crops growing. They got canned food, man. And when anybody come through, you know, people that come by, man, it could be a, a, a literal force field around the town, man. So if they get to a certain point, and they touch that you know they touch that part of the um of that of that area, man, and they they get blocked off, man, a force field, or it could just be invisible, man. Like is this anime I watched called um what was it called, man? D Gray Man, all right. And one of the scenes, it was a town, all right, and it had like a barrier around it. And you couldn't really see what was going on in the in the town, man. How it could have it to where it's a literal like illusion, man. It looks like it's just a forest over there, man. It's so much that it's so many possibilities, all right, that's gonna happen for the elect, man. Verse 29. My hands shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell, man. All right? And hell is not a literal place, man. Where it's a red man with a pitchfork, and he, you know, he poking you. And demons torture? Nah, man. Hell is just a low condition, man. All right? This is verse 34. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand, all right? And it's talking about the Israelites. Because the only people that's going to hear and understand, all right, are the Israelites. Look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest, all right? And that's that second covenant. For he is nigh at hand, and that shepherd is Yahweh Shai. That shall come in the end of the world. All right? Be ye ready to the reward of the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven for the Israelites, all right? In the kingdom of heaven, all right, these heathens is going to be in slavery, man. And after they're, you know, they get their, their punishment, then they'll keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. They're not going to have the second covenant, all right? And this is what this is going into, the second covenant. 
Alright? That's only for the Israelites. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world, receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly, man. Call Halim Layhal Bashim Yal Shai Shalawampi.